Hi there. This video is called General Considerations When Choosing Courses. While it's true that at times the, the choice of your courses is clear, for example, when you have certain required courses you need to take and there's not a lot of thinking to do about which courses you take in those cases, you often do have to choose among several options. So how do you decide which courses to take? First and foremost, uh, I urge you to take courses that interest you. Having an interest in the course that you're working on is probably the single biggest factor that leads to success in courses and completing courses. So uh, I, I, I urge you to keep that in mind when you're selecting your courses. <clears throat> Secondly, and this is especially true for grade 11 and 12 students, you should be looking ahead to ensure that you're taking courses that will get you where you want to go. This will involve researching career options, uh, then working kind of backward. So for example, if you want to work in healthcare as a nurse, you would research how to become a nurse uh, and you would find info on post-secondary institutions websites about their training programs and then when you're finding out uh, what the training program is like you'll kind of work backwards a little bit uh, again to the beginning of that program and looking for a thing called admission requirements what do I need to get into this program <clears throat> not sure exactly if you're not sure exactly what you want to do then you probably should research several options Kind of imagine, and I mean, talk this over with your parents, right? And your friends. What would I be good at? I, you know, I haven't really thought about what I should do. What do you think? Uh, people will definitely have suggestions for you. And then start looking into those options. I mean, Google is your friend here, right? So you, you, you Google um, the career name, British Columbia, click go. Um, you, it doesn't take you very long before you're starting to see that, oh, this school has this program that gives you a two year certificate that leads to that job. Uh, those kinds of things kind of. They, they, they sort of just get rolling once you start uh, and you're looking for admissions requirements in those kinds of programs. That will give you a broader picture. Uh, it's not like you have to know exactly what you're going to do when you finish high school at this point in your life, but to have an idea of, well, you know, for that kind of career that my uncle was talking to me about, to get into that kind of thing, I looked at several different places and it seems obvious that I need this course and that course and this course. Now you're starting to get the information you need to make the right choices for your graduation program.